Welcome fellow freaks, geeks, and nostalgic 90s nerds to my channel, Slime and Slashers, where, yep, we talk about everything from Nickelodeon Slime to horror movie slashers, but plenty of stuff in between too. However, today's video is very Nickelodeon themed, and that is part of my name, Slime and Slashers, Nickelodeon Slime. So today's video, I haven't done a 90s themed video in a very, very long time, so here it is. A throwback to the 90s with a modern twist, actually, because I'm going to be unboxing a Nick box, which is a mystery crate full of 90s themed Nickelodeon merchandise. So everything in the box, it represents you know, all the 90s shows that aired on Nickelodeon that we all loved as kids. So right after this short intro, I'll see you right back here and we're gonna unbox this baby. Woo! I can't wait. <laughs> Welcome back! Are you ready to unbox this? I know I am. Look how great the box looks, by the way. And some 90s patterns, really great color palette. It just screams 90s. I'll just give you a... Uh, unfortunately, the box is creased, which kind of upsets me because I like to keep these. I have these boxes like all over my parents' house and all over my house. I store them all over the place. I even use one of the old Nick boxes to store my socks because I collect socks too. Different pattern socks. Okay, so here we have the spoiler card. I am not going to look at it as of now. I'm going to throw it to the side. Oh my god, I can already tell. Let's see if this box lives up to what I'm hoping will be in here because last time, the last Nick box, I was actually kind of disappointed. So this one, I'm really hoping will knock my socks off because the last one did not. I don't even know where to start. I see something cool already. All right, so I've said this a couple of times. I keep wanting more logo themed merchandise and here I have an awesome freaking logo themed t-shirt. Look how 90s this is. Oh my god, this is wonderful. So it's got green sleeves, it's got nice blue and orange and like crazy patterns. And we've got Nickelodeon in the shape of a flippin' dog bone or just like a regular skeleton bone. I don't know. <laughs> it reminds me of like a bone that a dog would chew. Um, it says it is a color block tee. That is what it's called. I will be wearing this for bed. Cool. I love it. Okay. Cool. A cup. All right. So here's how it looks. I'm going to open it. I can tell already by peeking at this. It's a Camp Anawana cup. Salute your shorts. That's the camp from Salute Your Shorts. So hopefully this one is not cracked because I did get a cracked cup a Hey Arnold cup in one of the past Nick boxes, but overall they're pretty decent with quality. Oh, cool. All right, so we've got the logo. We've got some clouds. Very neat. And I'm sure there's a straw somewhere. I don't see it as of right this second though. So we'll see if there's a straw. There's a place for a straw. If not, I've got straws I can use, my own straws or whatever. So this is neat. I like it. I like it a lot. I hardly have any Salute Your Shorts merch, so that would be a good addition to my collection. Because, by the way, guys, if you're a new viewer of mine, you might not have seen any of my old content. One of my old pieces of content is a Nickelodeon merchandise tour. I've got tons of Nick Box items on the shelf over here that I'm kind of pointing to and alluding to. I also have a whole bunch of old school 90s stuff that I actually bought as a kid and received as a kid as well. So I've got actual stuff from my childhood up on that shelf. The video is up on this channel. I will link it up here if you want to see my Nickelodeon tour. The aspect ratio of the video bothers me because I didn't film it in the right aspect ratio, but it is what it is. I see something cool. All I can see is the awesome logo, and I don't know what this is, but it looks like a blanket or maybe like a scarf or some kind of piece of fabric. Now I should say, I think this is the Nickelodeon Summer Box. They're always very late in when they kind of get to my house. Some people get them earlier, but I never get them like in time. Like for me, it'd be great to get the fall box right now because fall's about to start. All right, oh, it's a beach towel, it says on the tag. All right, let's see what this beach towel says. It's, it's flipping huge. Is it the dinos? It kind of looks like it'd be the dinos. They have these, uh, this old school, Oh, it's clipped together. I have to unclip it, but it is the dinos. Okay, so, you know, there's these dinos in the old, they're called bumpers, which is basically where they show, like, little tiny, short, couple of second, 
little interstitials in between programming and usually it would tell you what channel you're watching they're called bumpers or they could be more creative than that they could be little skits they could be pete and pete had some bumpers there's a one called inside out boy that would play in the 90s but the this is more of like a bumper id and id means it ids the tv channel that you're watching so these dinos would be like nick 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 nickelodeon so that's pretty freaking cool the dinos that's awesome so the doo-wop dinos i think that's what they were called i really don't know you could find the video or the bumper on youtube all right i see what is this it looks like some kind of coaster, a double dare coaster, but it has some kind of instructions for a game on the on the back. It says, grab a friend and an episode of Double Dare to play. Instructions, one team drinks for the blue team, the other for the red team. Drink every time you hear your team say dare. Whenever the announcer calls dare, then everyone drinks. If your team fails a physical challenge, you must drink twice. If your team wins the game, the other player must drink until the final challenge has a win or until the timer runs out. So it's like a drinking game and you can play with this coaster. I wonder, yep, they've got, so they've got glasses that go with the coaster. So this is a box. Look, I'm gonna keep in the box. I mean, the box is incredible. So that's what the cups look like. We'll open them in a second. This box is incredible. I love the design. I'll figure out something to put in it because you can't waste this box. This is a really cool looking design of a box. I just love like the old 90s designs and art style and stuff, whether it's Nickelodeon or not. Okay, so these are actual shot glasses. In the picture, they look much bigger, like taller, but I like this, and it makes sense for the drinking game. All right, so there's the red one that they described in the directions of the game, and here's the blue. Take a shot. <laughs> Whatever. You could drink regular drink out of this, too, I'm sure, but why would you want to have such a small sip? It's obviously made for shots of drinks, <laughs> so it is what it is. And they're protected in this styrofoam, so this is how it looks when you hold it up. Cool. I probably won't play the game. I'll just display the, the stuff, which I think works just fine, I I hope. All right, let's see if I can get this back in for now. All right, let's move on. Oh, there's so much good stuff. All right, I can see something already pretty neat. This looks like a bag, and it looks kind of like a Hey Arnold bag, but they're faceless. So it's more... I mean, semi-abstract. I mean, you could definitely tell who the characters are, but there is no facial expressions. We got Helga with the unibrow. So this looks like a duffel bag. Comes with a strap, blue strap. This is cool. I could use it for traveling or going to the beach or something. The material's kind of, it feels like it would avoid water. If I could find the tag, yep. And I like this Hey Arnold tag. I usually keep the tags as well to put on my wall or just for other projects like making the tags into magnets. So this doesn't even say what kind of bag or what it could be used for, but we'll see on the spoiler card. Boom box, Bluetooth speaker, and alarm clock. What the hell? They gave us alarm clock? All right, let's look at this. On the picture on the box... Oh, see, okay. It's cool. I like it. I love that it's orange and green. I just wish it said Nickelodeon and not Nick Box. So it's an alarm clock and speakers for your Bluetooth. Oh, look, here's the alarm clock side. Okay, you see where the numbers would be? So yeah, you could just put this down. I think I'm holding it upside down. Yeah, you put this down. Other side's this. And you set the alarm or use it as speakers, which you would face this side out if you're using it that way cool like i said but i don't know instead of nick box we're here for nickelodeon merch not nick box merch so that's my only complaint on this one is i want it to just say nickelodeon and have it be the old school type of logo instead of like a newer type of splat bubble the old one obviously has like these little like ringlets that have more of a shape like a kind of utter shape mm. Not to be weird, but like like cow water shape instead of like a splat kind of spray of goo. All right, I think we have one item left. All right, cool. I don't even know what this is yet, but I already like it because it's got Reptar on it. Oh, I see. It's a notebook. But the thing that ruins it 
and this is really mean, uh, is Dill. I, I really can't stand Dill. I like early R Rugrats, so basically the first three seasons. Three to four seasons. I can't remember when Dill came in, but obviously it was right after the movie. Oh, okay, this is cool. So you undo it. This kind of saves it. So the actual notebook, this is just the cover. Almost like it's a VHS. That's cool. Okay, so the VHS, or notebook cover, is Runaway Reptar. And you've got the babies in the front, some of the babies, and you got Angelica up there. So then you slip it out. Now this is what's cool, is that it looks like an orange VHS, which is what you would get if you bought a VHS of a Nickelodeon show in the 90s. The tape would be orange. So that's cool. Okay, let's look at the pages. Big lines on the pages. I'm definitely going to use this. I love when they give us notebooks because the last one they gave us was an Are You Afraid of the Dark notebook and I use it all the time. It's almost full. So yeah, I'm so glad that Dill's not on this. It's just a tape and that makes this even cooler. So this is probably my favorite item if you just, you know, subtract this part of it. This is my favorite item. This is so cool. All right, let's go over the spoiler card to make sure I did not forget anything, because that happened last time I did an unboxing, is I, I freaking forgot an item, because I thought it was a box, and it actually had something in it. All right. I'm sorry. I'm falling. All right, so just to go over what we just unboxed, boom box, Bluetooth speaker, and alarm clock, which is cool, but again, Nickelodeon logo versus Nick box logo. Just wish it was that instead. Hey Arnold duffel bag. So it is a duffel bag, and that's what I thought because it looks like the shape and size of that. The dino beach towel, which is, this is what it looks like when it's going to be completely undone. Like I said, this one, he, he's watching TV. These guys come up and they start singing Nick, 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 Nick. So salute your shorts, Tumblr. And it does show a cool straw. Oh, here it is. Okay, so see, I did forget something. I thought this was a piece of trash. So here's the straw. Oh, this is cool. So you put it in there and it's like the flagpole that has the shorts on it for the Salute Your Shorts open. Oh, that's cool. Okay, wait. Get him off. Get out of my face, face. <laughs> Get out of here. We want to see the straw, not your face. This is cool. Now, that, like, the, the cup's really extra cool now that I saw this is a very neat straw. Not just a usual straw. Just like, oh, they're just gonna give us a plastic straw. This is very creative. That's cool. All right. So, color block tea that I showed you guys just to refresh what it looked like. You got your Nickelodeon bone logo. They don't explain why it's in the shape of a bone, but I'll take it. It would have been cool if it was, like, a sun or... Because it's a summer box, so it would have kind of made sense to me in the shape of a sun. I still like it. All right, and then the Rugrats VHS notebook. Fire! It's awesome. I love that notebook. And finally, the Bottle Dare shot glass and coaster set with game instructions to do like a drinking game. So here's the spoiler card one last time. And let's look at the design. And this is the same thing we saw on the box. As you can see, they hinted at a Salute Your Shorts item by having this on the box. And on the spoiler card, we had an Hey Arnold item. We had Rugrats item. So... The main things represented in this box, Nickelodeon logo, Nickelodeon like commercial bumper, ID bumper, and Double Dare, and Rugrats. So really kind of just Rugrats, Hey Arnold are the two big shows, and then if you're talking about game shows, you had Double Dare. Everything else was kind of logo re related or like commercial related or channel related. Awesome stuff. I do like it better than last time. A lot better. And I, I'm not trying to downplay how much I like the boombox slash alarm clock. That is pretty cool, too. So, hopefully you guys like that. Let me know below in the comments what your favorite item was of this whole box. Also, let me know if you have subscribed to a Nick box, and if so, what's your favorite Nick box item you've ever gotten? And finally, another thing you could comment, because I am interested in this, you know, if you could design any Nick box item that kind of would have them create any item that you could think of that you would want to represent 90s Nickelodeon, what would your item be? I have come up with some ideas in the past, like a Artie Armstrong stretch doll, so it would be in the shape of Artie, strongest man in the world, and you'd pull his arms, and they would never break. That'd be kind of neat. I also told you guys on the last un unboxing that one of my ideas would be like a mini lava lamp, or, I don't know, glitter lamp that would be orange soda for Keenan and Kel. So, so those are some of my ideas, but I want to hear you guys' ideas, if you have any, for cool 90s Nick items. Alright guys, for this time, that's it for me. I'll be hitting you up with some horror content next time, because we're getting close to October, and I can't wait. So until next time, keep on killing it. See you soon! Bye!